This is Casper. Dear Bob, days like today make me proud to be captain of the good ship, the Johnny Roger. And the braver, finer, truer crew. Never sail the seven seas. Enough tomfoolery, Cookson. In fact, Mum, my life would be perfect if not for my thick-headed ballad of a motion, James Hook. Catch a haddock for my eleven seas, or by flint bones I'll do some angling of my own. With you for bait on this very hawk. Uh, I shall uh, do that, I will, yes. You bet. Well, well. Looks like it's time to play Havoc with Hook Havoc. Grills and grill, Peter. What are you talking about? Watch. Now, darling Bob, I must end this epistle and return to my duties. To discover what further catastrophes that lout of a boatswain hook has perpetuated. Your beloved son, Captain Ignatius P. Starkey. And now to post my letter to dear old Jim. <laughs> Thank you. 
Silly, I must say. Silly or not, Wendy's right. Saving Starkey is the only fair thing to do. And what's more, I've got the perfect plan for it. Peter! Don't worry, Wendy. You'll like this plan. Because it'll give you a chance to reform the pirates as well as help rescue Starkey. Now, Master John, take a letter. Yes, sir. <clears throat> to my dear, beloved Starkey. Yaha! Yaha! Is a sequel guy be? Yaha! Yaha! And his fishing I go. Yaha! Please, and shut that lazy boat you wrote me about to lower a ladder for your mom. 
open book. Lower the ladder for Mark. Please. Aye, aye, Captain Starkey. Aye, aye, Captain Starkey. <laughs> Boil him in oil, I know. It's a black 
Rebecca Davy Jones. Can't harm him. Peter, why must you always take such terrible risks? You were having all the fun, and I got bored. This is stocking. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Wendy, you're no dear, sweet old mum. You're a fraud, a charlatan, an imposter, and... And, and this means this ridiculous charade is over. I, James Hook, am no longer a boot-licking burg of a boatman. I am once more captain of the Jolly Roger. And after I deal with Master Pat, I'll make you rue the day you were ever born, Captain Johnny. And as for you two, I think a double black will suffice. That way, you can meet your watery doom, side by side. Well, well, Tinkerbell. Looks like it's up to you to go for help, as usual. We must rescue Peter and Wendy. Of course we've got to rescue them, silly. But the question is, how? Simple. We'll use our latest pirate eradicator. Model number 23. That's wonderful. Let's go. Only trouble is, if we try to set it up on the Jolly Roger, the pirates will see us before we can use it. Sutter and Fluff! Then what use is your foolish invention? Not to worry. While the twins set up their pirate eradicator, John and I will keep the pirates distracted. And how exactly shall we do that? I say, what a bizarre idea. Shake a leg, you lazy ape. Corrupted croc may stop on Peter Pan's spindly bones. <laughs> that was a fairly decent croc imitation, if I do say so myself. In a few moments, Master Pan, you can compare notes with a genuine article. Peter, what awful trouble! Don't worry, Wendy. I have a feeling that help is on the way. Watch it! 
tomorrow. This Saturday morning.